Hey, not as cold today, so I opted for a ride rather than just coffee. But hey, I wanted to do a kind of a quick walkthrough of some of the mods I've done. Although they're not a lot, you can tell if you follow this bike. Um, the XSR 700 looks a lot like this stock. I mean, I haven't changed too much on it. Although, there's a lot I would like to do. The more you look around at this bike, and you look at how many options there are for mods and what people have done. I mean, there's some awesome ones out there. There's some that I like better than others, just like anybody else. I mean, you're gonna see some that you like better than others and you're gonna to wanna to do mods and different than other people and that's all good. You know what, you need to make your bike look the way you want it to look. So, one of the first things I felt like I needed to do was get rid of the super shiny or just silver radiator guards, the side guards. So I just made it simple and I took those off and I painted them. I just took my time and did a good sanding job and painting job, I think. I think they look okay. And Right about the same time, I also put on a radiator guard that I bought on Amazon, I think. And I think I can find a link to that. And I'll put that on the description. But you can find these all over the place. Some of them go all the way up over the radiator, which I'm might, looking at it now, I might have liked that a little bit better. I'm okay with the way it looks. And I feel like it's adding some protection that might not have been there to begin with, with just a, with just a bare radiator especially if you get off-road at all which i don't a lot but i do occasionally and so you know if you're going fast enough and get a rock up there you might find a little more damage than usual if you didn't have a guard like that and a very soon after that i had to replace the turn signals on the stock us bikes they stuck way out quite a bit further out because they had spacers in here and um they were in the big orange pumpkins. So I got these LEDs from Revzilla, I think. Bike Master is who made those. Um, and I just liked the look of them. I liked the shape of them for this bike. There were some TSTs that I looked at that were straight and stuck out. And they just, for me, you know, I just didn't like the look of them. So I put those on front, same thing on back. And on the back, along with that, I realized I needed to get a tail tidy on there. If you look at your stock, you know, rear fender, and it's a lot of stuff hanging off the back that I just don't like. And so I went with a TST tail tidy, and I really like the way it installed. You end up using a lot of the stock, the stock piece underneath the fender, and you cut some of that off and attach TST's tail tidy underneath there and it leaves space for you to add your own signals really easily. The install of the turn signals was pretty straightforward. There are some spacers required if you use these stock headlight mounts. There's some spacers you need to get that go right in here. Um, and you also need to add a relay that's gonna allow these LEDs to work with this bike which was not set up for LEDs. So if you put these on without the relay, you just get a super fast flash. So relay was super inexpensive. I ended up getting everything so I could do it all at once. I did the front turn signals, rear tail tidy and rear turn signals all at once. And relay is just sitting inside, tucked inside here. Um, and that does the trick. So you get your turn signals that are normal, right? Like a normal, normal frequency of, of a flash. So I kind of wanted to keep a little bit of the scrambler look. So I've, I've seen some bars that I like that are flatter, that are lower. But I've kind of stayed with these. I just kind of like the way it's come out looking as far as a scrambler look. And, uh, but one thing I did decide upon was that front headlight that just, you know, looks like a cannon. And I just ended up with this, which is really, it's just a, uh, this is the XSR 900. Um, 
bucket, basically. This piece was really cheap, just on Partzilla, and uh, it fits. One thing I might do, if I can figure it out, is get someone to make me some different mounts that pull this, uh, this bucket back in a little bit, because it, as it is with these mounts, it sticks out a little bit too far. And the XSR 900 mounts don't fit here, uh, so that doesn't work. So I'd like to have this thing back a little bit. Maybe it would fit half an inch back and even then I think it would just look better. It would pull it in, make it a little bit tighter, just a more streamlined look right in the front here. I did have to do a little <laughs> a little bit of modification underneath and I read about this um, on the XSR 700 forums where some other guys had done this and so it was really helpful to find out that you've got to do a little mod underneath here to get this to fit right. But in the end it worked out fine. I think it's um, it's it's on there good and tight it's stable another thing I decided on was the speedo location you know one reason I did this is aesthetically I kind of like the offset look what this mount also did for me was increase the ability to see the speedometer while I'm riding prior position was just right in here it was angled up more so I couldn't see it as well and so I really like this and I like the offset look Funny thing about it is, one reason I like the offset look, I think, was because I've always liked the the Ducati Scrambler, and that's got you know the speedometer up located just about where this one is. And I've seen a lot of videos where guys with the <laughs> Scramblers are they're buying mounts that relocate their speedometer right in the center. But like I said, everybody just wants it. You know, you want it the way you want it. And when you get it looking the way you want it, it's, it makes writing more satisfying. And so I'm glad I did some of these things. Another mod I did that I did a video on, I'll put a link to it, but uh, grips, uh, heated grips. If I were to have just replaced grips, I might have gone with a different pattern, but the heated grips was something I really wanted. And I used those today, and I was really glad I had those. On today is kind of a chilly December day, but we pop those heated, turn those grips on, and um, yeah, it warms your hands up really quick. So let me talk about some things that I would eventually like to do. I think front end wise, I'm I'm thinking about going even a little bit more scrambler look, and I've already bought some fork gaiters and the black piece that fits over the uh, the cover that fits over the fork here comes off the um, FZ07 and I've got those and I'll I'll try to do an install video when I do that be good but I think I'm gonna go with it I think I've decided really like the look at particularly cappuccino moto I really like the way he's got it blacked out um, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the fender I don't know if I'll go with the same fender but I'm definitely gonna either buy one or maybe even try to cut this one down to where it's just chopped and uh, not as much overhang here and probably paint this black because I really like the way it, it looks on some guys uh, builds where it's really blacked out up front and so I may also do a couple things I may find something to cover up uh, the VIN sticker and I may black this out uh, at least on that side this side is looks is pretty good I don't think I need to do anything else blacking out over here would love to get a new seat just because again you can tell I like cappuccino motos build a lot I'd love to get a seat like that maybe from Brogue um, but we'll see uh, this one works pretty good as far as solo and a two-up seat so I ride with my wife sometimes and she's fine with this seat that's also why I keep the uh, I keep my passenger pegs on although sometimes I think about popping those off because it does clean up the back end quite a bit one other kind of major thing I think about is the tank and I never really loved the brushed aluminum look I mean a lot of people do a lot of people really love that look kind of just the garage you know built it out of my own garage kind of look almost but 
I really want something that's a nice, just a nice glossy paint of some scheme or another. I've seen a lot of, again, I've seen a lot of nice paint schemes out there. And I think I really want to change this up. One thing I did, shortly after I first got this, I decided I was going to do something different with my tank and front fender. I saw a concept art of a, a scrambler build of the XSR 700. I'll throw that up so you can see it. And I really liked the way they had had this stark red, this Yamaha red color over this piece of the tank cover and also on most of the front fender. So I wrapped it and I ended up with um, this, which I'll show you. And I was just kind of meh. And I ended up just taking it off, which is the beauty of wrapping something if you want to try it. And then uh, shortly after I took it off, I was browsing and I found Yamaha's website and they had finally put up the new color scheme for 2020. So this is a 2018 and I did my wrap in 2019. But <laughs> I got on and I looked at this color scheme for the 2020. And yeah, here's what it looks like which I really like. I like the gold wheels on there. I like the, what they did with it. Um, but I thought it was kind of funny that Yamaha ended up going with that color scheme. Mirrors are another thing I might just go ahead and change out. I like some guys have got it where they've got a, you know, a drop mirror or a bar end mirror that drops or something like that. Or even just a short one, uh, Cappuccino Moto's got a, just a single round over on the left side. That looks pretty sweet. That looks nice and clean up front. So one of the biggest changes I have yet to do that I really would like to do, and you can probably already guess, if you know these bikes, is this sad, underwhelming, anemic sounding exhaust. I mean, for the power of this bike, I mean, I really like the power of this bike. I like the sound of it with good exhaust. I mean, it just really sounds great. Um, but man, this stock exhaust is, is underwhelming. And so I really like the sound of a couple different ones. The S1R, the Two Brothers S1R, I think is what it's called. Very nice sound, in my opinion. Uh, J. Jack Moto has a great a review on that and some sound clips and I really like the Leo Vinci uh, dual GP that uh, sits up in this area yeah if you follow this bike at all and have had any other or heard any other exhaust that you really like the sound of maybe I haven't heard go ahead and post a comment let me know what you've heard on these bikes or the FZ 07 or which is also the MT 07 now basically same engine they sound about the same when you throw a good exhaust on there. Let me know what you've heard. If there's something I should consider other than the ones that I'm thinking about. The things holding me back on that are, number one, just price. So we're looking at six to $900. And then I think, I really think it's a good idea to do a tune when you put something like that on. You know, depending on how you do that, there's another two to $400. And so, thousand bucks I just don't have it to spend on this right now although I'd love to second thing holding me back is just <laughs> so I commute and uh, I usually leave my driveway around 6 30 in the morning and I like my neighbors <laughs> but uh, I don't want something that's so loud that you know every time I start it up I'm worried about getting a visit from the local police so we'll see that would be for me that would be a really welcome change though I mean riding something that sounds that good it's just another inspiring thing for me and a lot of you guys I know you've a lot of, a lot of people have said uh, the personality of the bike just changes with a good good exhaust let me know what you think of these changes uh, post some comments if you've used any of these particular mods um, if you've done the same thing how it worked out for you I don't think I've run into any trouble with any of the mods I did, you know, as far as electrical, I don't haven't had any problems. Uh, the heated grips were an easy install. The LED turn signals is pretty straightforward. 
Um, you do have to tear the whole back fender apart, but it's pretty straightforward getting it back together. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe, and I hope to get some more some more content up soon. Let me know what you'd like to like to see in these videos.